Hello everyone, my name is William. In this episode, I wanted to talk about how to use Preline UI, a Tailwind CSS of pre-built components that uh, you can be able to use in your Laravel application. And in this case, you can be able to not only use it in Laravel, you can be able to use it in combination with, um, with Inertia for Vue, uh, React, and Events Velt. And you can also be able to use Preline in a live wire application and also in the basic blend files. So you can be able to use it actually anywhere. And the installation method is actually the same. So the first thing that we need to do if we want to use Preline UI, of course, since it has been built on top of Tailwind CSS, we must go ahead and install Tailwind. So let me go to uh, Tailwind css.com website and here i want us to go to documentation and i would like us to go to installation so under installation i want us to go to framework guides such that we get the real uh, instructions for installing tailwind inside a laravel application of course you can see the instructions on installing tailwind elsewhere in next.js next and so on and so forth but in this case i want us to just concentrate on laravel alone so let us open this and then we can be able to paste this in the terminal and then uh, be in a position to be up and running in our, um, our laravel application so let us go ahead and do that i have a fresh installation of laravel here and so what i'm going to do i'm going to I begin by copying um, this line here, forget about installing, creating a new project. This one I've already done. Now I will do these uh, commands here. So maybe I can be able to do the first one and just install Tailwind. And then after that, we can go to the next command. So let me just paste this, this one here and uh, hit enter. And of course, it will go ahead and install our Tailwind CSS. I will pause a bit. Tailwind CSS is fully installed. And of course, just to look at whatever it is that we've installed, we've installed Tailwind, we have installed Post CSS, and we have also installed Auto Prefixer. The next thing that I'm going to do is to run npx, this second command. So I'll just copy the line and paste it here. And of course, it will be able to generate uh, the configuration files. As you can see, what we're having here, we do not have a file called Tailwind config tailwind.js. Uh, so when I hit enter, now you can uh, see after pasting that now you can see we have post tss config and we have tailwind config.js so those two files after that we will go ahead and modify some things so let me just scroll down and we need to include under content we need to include the blade files we need to include the javascript files and we also need to include the view files so in this case it will be able to handle all uh, those uh, manner of files and that's why i said you can actually be able to use it for anything. So in fact, if you want to also use it for live wire, the live wire files are usually dot .bled. So this first scenario, we will handle them perfectly. So let us go ahead and um, open Tailwind config.js and inside content. This is where I want us to paste the links to our, um, our our files so in this case our view files the the files that um, we will have sort of the html or whatever it is that you'll be building in our application as you can see it handles all the scenarios as i've said we will um then go to app.css in our app.css files we are going to copy this and paste it there so you add at tailwind base at tailwind components and at tailwind utilities so basically, I want us to scroll and go to resources and then CSS, app.css. Inside here, we are going to paste whatever it is that we have copied from that side. After that, we are done. But before we um, say that we are done completely, we need to include this inside our our view file. So in this case, inside our blade, I'm going to just use the Laravel blade file that is usually provided by default, the welcome page. So I will open resources, again, views. And inside here, we have a file that is called welcome.blade.php. I can uh, just copy everything and delete and do a new HTML5 uh, document like that. And above here, maybe after the title, I can be able to include the CSS 
And it is also okay for us to also include the JavaScript. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to include them as an array of values. So we will have um, the CSS and then I will put a comma here and also include JavaScript. So I'll just copy this line and modify. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste here. What I'm going to write now is resources JS and then app dot js like that of course the next thing that i'm supposed to do is to run npm run dev and then we can be able to uh, use vite to compile our assets and as you can see in our vite file vite config.js we already have the resources app.css and resources app.js uh, mentioned or included already so basically it should be able to do the hot refresh as we work in our application. But I want us to go ahead and also include preline. So basically I'm going to open um, preline and we can be able to install it using npm i preline. And let me just uh, click on get started such that we can be able to get all the information that we require. So this command here we install preline and after that we can be able to include it this line in the content and also include this line inside plugins. So let us go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy this and uh, paste in our terminal again. And that we install preline for us. Preline is installed successfully. The next thing I want to do is to open uh, tailwind config.js and under plugins, I need to add preline plugin. So let me just copy this line. We will copy the whole of it. Require preline plugin. So we copy this. I'm going to paste it here inside plugins. And then of course, one more thing inside here, there's a line that I did mention, node modules preline. So in this case, the location of our preline uh, JavaScript. So inside the content, I we just push one more line downwards and then include this. I'm going to save this file. So after that, we can go ahead and, and see if we can be able to use preline in our file. So let us go ahead and um, run npm run dev. And already it's uh, running fine. So now I want us to go and uh, try it out and see how um, it uh, works. So now of course, if we run our application, I can be able to open a new, a new terminal and just run php artisan serve and then our application is running on um, a local host 8000 so let us go ahead and check it out and when you look at it of course there's nothing it's a blank page and it's expected because if we look at our file there's nothing that we've been we, we have been able to put inside the body but of course the title is what we're having here as document and then every other thing is like that so let me go ahead and um, include some uh, example uh, components here. And I'm going to use the example components for now. But of course we have serious, or in other words, many components that we can be able to talk about while we are looking at um, uh, Preline. As you can see, we have the documentation, we have the examples, and then we have the plugins, and then we have Figma, but we also have many more other components that we can be able to use. So let me just click on components. And um, what I want us to do is to just look for maybe the navigation bar. So let me just scroll and see if we have nav bars somewhere. I can see hero sections. And down here we have navigation bars. So I can click on this one. We, we have uh, several navigation bars here. As you can see, there are many like this one and so on and so forth. And I can be able to just use this first one because it's a little bit pronounced. We can be able to very quickly know if our code is working perfectly. So I would like to just pick that and paste it inside the body tag. And uh, of course, our application you uh, refresh automatically. And now you can see we are having the nav bar showing perfectly. I also want us to go and look for the hero sections. Yes, we have the hero section. So if I click here, of course, we have several of them again. So I just pick one. For example, what we are having here, it seems nice. 
So let me just pick this. I will just copy the code and just um, come and paste it uh, below the navbar and save. And if we check, again, now you can see we are having the hero, a nice one also, and the application actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Of course, we have also something like uh, maybe the icon section, which we can have as our features in our application. So whichever it is that we choose, I do not, I'm just playing around with this just to show you. So I'm not doing anything fancy. It's not as if I have an idea of a website that I'm building. Not really. I just want to show you that it's very easy to be able to just use the examples that we have and come up with a nice uh, looking website. I would like to go back and maybe pick something else. So back to examples. I want us to look for something like um, maybe we can be able to pass in the pricing. So for example, you want to have the pricing. So even this one is just okay. You can copy it and paste it below like that. And if we check back again and see, we can scroll downwards and you can see we also have the pricing. We have the plans and they're being compared uh, in a nice way. Obviously, lastly, probably I can be able to look for, um, to search for a footer. So let me just go to the search bar and search for something like a footer, like that. And of course, we have um, the footer examples. I can just copy whatever it is that you'll be able to reach to be the closest to where I am at and paste it here. And now, if you look at whatever it is that we have, we have a a page that um, looks complete. So we have the hero, we have the icon section, we have the features, and as you can see, we have the footer being displayed perfectly within our application. Uh, something to mention is that um, we have, apart from examples, we actually have components. So if I click on uh, documentation, I believe there is um, a place where we have the other things now, as you can see, we have the um, layouts, and columns, we have the typography. So you can be able to take time and look at some of these things. We have the basic components. You can see accordion, avatar, avatar group, carousel, and so on and so forth. You see the many components that are there, the navbar, the sidebar, the breadcrumbs, file input and so on and so forth. So you can see it's something that can be able to speed up your development if you are um, working with the Tailwind CSS and you can be able to do whatever it is that you want to do a little bit uh, quickly. I also want to mention that as you can see on this other side, we have the plugins. And just to show you what we have, these are the plugins that are there as at now. And then of course, we also have Figma designs that uh, you can be able to use also. So you can see this is a table and we have the dark mode, light mode and so on and so forth. And the sizing, essential components, so many things that you can actually be able to benefit. And all these are free. As you can see, we have the free version and we have the Preline Pro. But for the Preline Pro, it is not yet there as at now, as at the recording of this video on the 1st of um, January 2024. We do not have the Preline Pro as at now. It is something that is yet to be uh, brought up. And I believe at the end of everything, even the free version can be able to just give you some good assistance and you can be able to concentrate on your code and not focus so much on the design part. Thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this point. If you find that this tutorial has been useful, subscribe, give us a like, and you can also share a comment in the comment section. We really appreciate your support. Thank you very much.